What up, what up, what up? Hey, hey, your boy did some shopping a few days ago at Mall of America and it's been a while. It's been a while since I've actually bought myself anything clothing wise. The last thing I bought myself was this Puerto Rican kind of crop top and I also got myself a polo that if you go to my Instagram, you probably see the reel about those two when I did the kind of try on haul. That was the last purchase about a month and a half ago. Now I just got these couple things, couple essentials that I needed. I went to Abercrombie and Fish, got myself a couple things. I went to Hollister, got myself a couple things. So this intro of the video is going to be the try on haul. Also peep my guy, Obi Vincent. I always put him in the background. It's one of the chillest, calmest dudes on YouTube, so I enjoy watching his videos, so it's nice background noise to watch. I wasn't looking for something specifically. I did need to get some pants. For some reason, I've gained some weight, especially on my lower, like my legs, my glutes. I've gained some weight, and that has made all the pants that I have fit more tightly, more skinny, looking around the body. So I said, you know, I gotta upgrade, I gotta get more pants, I gotta do something. I gotta, you know, adapt. So I bought myself these pants, which honestly, it's a different style that I haven't had, but I thought, you know what? It's professional and I can mix it up with a shirt and make it casual with some sneakers. But yeah, these pants right here are baggy, baggy type. So it looks a little bit, looks big and looks oversized. So these are really nice, honestly. I've tried them on and I actually wore them to work the other day. And if you saw my previous video, then in that video, I kind of try them on while I'm at the try on rooms or clothing. I don't know what they call it, but, um, but yeah. So try them on, really nice pants. You can wear it like high-waisted and put, tuck in your shirt. It'll look really nice, really professional or you can also make it casual, so I got that. Honestly, don't know how much they cost uh, because I ripped the tags off already, but I think the pants were... Actually, wait, there might be a receipt here. All right, so yes. So the pants were 90, but there was a discount, so I got them for $72. A little, little bit pricier for pants, but honestly, I needed some pants, especially to go for work. I said, you know what? I love the style, I love how baggy and loose they are at the bottom. So I just said, you know what, I'll get them. Um, so I got that, I got the receipt here. So if you hear some weird noises, the receipt, because I keep my receipts. Um, this second thing I love, when I saw this shirt, I love the texture, I love the feel of it. I don't know if you can see the quality, it's soft. Let me see if you can, yeah, it's soft. It is soft, so this is a size large. So this, with those pants, were, were a, a nice fit. So I got, I put this shirt on, tucked it in with those pants, some, some Chelsea boots or some shoes, and it'll look really nice. So this one was, this one is considered a sweater. And it was $40 with a discount that I had. So it was total was $40. Now, I live in Minnesota. I live in Minneapolis. I work at the stadium. So I'm an honorary representative of the Minnesota Vikings. I support the Minnesota Vikings. The season's just around the corner. I think next week it's the first game. The first game at the stadium is gonna be two weeks from now. So actually two weeks, yeah, two weeks from now. And I decided, you know what? I need something casual that I can use at the gym that I can also repurpose and use to go out more casually. And I got this right here. This is a size XL because for casual clothing or even working out, I like my clothing to be more baggier, especially on the shirt, sh shirts or on the top side. Like this right here, it's a crop top, but the length of the sleeves Kind of makes it seem like oversized. So I got an XL Minnesota Vikings shirt. So look, this is how it looks. Boom, Vikings 
pretty cool, pretty cash. Pretty cash, boom, you can put with some jeans that you'll see in a little bit. So you get this with some jeans, and then boom, rock it with some sneakers, and then you're ready to catch them touchdowns. So really, really nice shirt. I love, love the quality, it's still soft. It's a t-shirt, I'll probably use more to work out than to go out, because your boy, your boy rarely goes out. So if I pop out, then I might represent. So, really nice shirt. I think this shirt was, let me double check. This one was $47. $47 for a t-shirt. I know it's a little bit up there, but I gotta show love to my skull, Minnesota Vikings. So, that's everything I got for from Abercrombie and Fish. Now we're gonna go to Hollister. I did lie earlier when I said I wasn't looking for anything when I was going to the different stores, but I actually did need something. I ran out of my cologne, my Nautica cologne, which is my go-to scent. I ran out of it and I said, you know what? I need a new cologne, I need a new fragrance. And when I was at Hollister, I saw this. My dad actually smelled it. I was like, oh, this smells nice. And then he sprayed it on my, my wrist and I smelled it and I was like, ooh, I like the vibe of that. So I ended up buying this Hollister or Hollister Coastline Fragrance or Cologne. It's honestly really, really good. I've already tried it. So this is how it, this is how it looks. Pretty nice, pretty cash. And then, mm, mm, mm. Rub it or tap it. Mm, good smell. So this, this is gonna go to the rotation because I'm definitely more, for sure, I'm buying the Nautica Blue because that's my go-to scent. And if you want that Nautica, trust me, Nautica colognes are top tier and for a good price. But I'm gonna add that, this Hollister to the collection. All right, so when I was at Hollister, looking around, just browsing, seeing what caught my attention, what caught my eye, what I was interested in, in getting, my girlfriend pointed out that I needed some jeans. And honestly, I said, you know what? I actually need some jeans because I only have one pair that I've been wearing since college and it still fits to this day because it's stretchy and in us, it's washed out and it looks really nice. So I've been using it ever since then, but I think it's time to upgrade and get some jeans. So I got loose stretch, which I'm trying on so you guys can see. And then I also got a um, slim straight. This one is more jean-like. This, this one is more washed, so I got kind of two different styles. So I'm gonna try them out with this shirt or with this scrub so you gotta kind of can get a sense of how it's looking like. Look at how they look. I don't know if you gotta, if you can get it. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here and do a little so you guys can see how they look, how they fit. They're comfy, they're, they're comfy. They're comfy, they're pretty, I'd say a little bit stretchy. They're somewhat baggy, um, the bottom, so that way you can put your shoes and it falls uh, perfectly onto the shoe and it feels, feels, feels nice. So, nice jeans. These are the loose ones. These were $40 for these jeans, so they look nice even with this top. If I get my white sneakers, my Nike ones, they'll look really nice or even another sporty shoe it'll look nice so now i'm gonna try the slim straight so these are loose so nice fit nice at the bottom so 10 out of 10. all right these right here are more fitted obviously they're slim straight the other ones were, were loose i think that's what it's called yeah loose stretch so they have a little bit of a stretch these ones are a little bit more Kind of like a regular sneaker, not sneaker, regular jean. And yeah, kind of, it feels nice. Still, I think it's a little bit stretchy, so it's still there's still room for if I build my legs or if I throw a little bit more into them, they'll, they'll look nice and won't look tight tight as the ones that I currently have. But yeah, it feels nice around the waist. Still, you know, I can kind of move around and be like, hey, hey, hey. Yay. and still have plenty of space don't feel any you know any constrictions in the waist or even down on the legs because i'm gonna see if i can show you a little close-up 
All right, so close up. Boom. See, a little, little washed up, little huh, little huh. Don't mind my feet. I just didn't have any, any sneakers to put on, but that's. It gives you a little nice look into the jeans. So yeah, those are all my purchases. And I actually, before switching, I'm gonna switch this shirt so I can actually try on the Vikings one because I think the Vikings one with one of these two jeans will look really nice. So might as well just try them out. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm gonna line up. I'm gonna line up, I'm gonna be like, Hey, pretty dope, pretty, honestly, pretty comfy. It's over, obviously, is an XL shirt, so it feels more loose. I feel more fr free in it, but um, but yeah, Minnesota Vikings with some jeans, it looks nice. Maybe I can match white with the white sneaker and it'll look really nice. So, let's go. Go. But yeah, so really nice shirt. Now, before wrapping up this portion, I'm gonna try out the pants that you saw earlier from Abercrombie, and I'm gonna try on this shirt so you can have an idea of the vision that I was thinking of. Talk to me nice, talk to me nice. See how we were casual with the Viking shirt and the jeans, and now we're a little bit more high-end, a little bit more professional. So, high-waisted, Pants, see how I was telling you earlier, they're baggier on the bottom, so gives room for if I want to wear boots with it or platforms, or if I want to wear regular shoes, or if I even want to match things up and do these pants with some sneakers and a shirt. But look at this, look at this. I actually went to work like a few days ago in this outfit, and I honestly felt very professional. I, obviously, I had my watch, but I don't have anything right now but I thought it was pretty nice. And it feels professional, like, you know, how Dion said, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you do good. Or if you do good, you get paid good. That's how I felt when I wore this. So really nice. I don't know if you can see the difference, but um, the texture on the shirt, really nice. And then the pants are really comfy and baggy at the bottom, so it makes it, <laughs> it makes it a 10 out of 10 for me. Honestly, I would say that it was a pretty successful run, even though I didn't go to Mall of America with the intentions of buying all these things. But I think it was essential for me to do something for myself. And I think, I believe it, it was either Abercrombie or Hollister that my parents got me some things because they wanted to treat me. And I um, really appreciate it because of it. So all those things, you know, we got some pants, we got the shirt, we got the Vikings shirt. We got the two jeans, loose jean, and then a straight jean. And we also got this Hollister Coastline Cologne for a little male scent, a little, you know, flavor to my, to my days. But yeah, so honestly it is Saturday and I haven't had a weekend free for like an entire month because at the beginning of the month, that's when I still had my other job, my second job. After that, it was preseason game, concert, concert, concert. My parents were here. So now this is the first weekend where I'm kind of relaxing, getting back into rhythm because I haven't had a chance to build any sort of routine or structure because I've been extremely tired. Uh, but I've enjoyed the month of August so far. Today's, yeah, pretty much almost the end of the month. Today, the only thing today Today we have Iowa State playing. So it's gonna be the, the first game back for college football that I'm gonna be watching. So I'm gonna support my guys. I think they're playing at 2.30. So they should be playing here pretty shortly. And then I also, we'll see. We'll see what the, the rest of the evening is gonna come about. There is one thing that I wanna do with the second room, which is like break down the bed and kind of sell the bed frame because now that my parents left, I don't think we're gonna use that bed frame at all for anything. So I wanna create that space that we can do, you know, I can edit videos. Uh, my girlfriend, when she works from home, she can have that space for her as her office instead of you know, being on the living room because this is where, let me see if you guys can see, but this is where 
we moved the desk towards so that my parents' room could be more of a room and not an office. So don't mind the mess, but this was the corner that the desk was at. She had her monitor and her laptop, and now she's working in another job, so she'll get that equipment in the next couple of days. But yeah, that's, that was the setup. That was where I edited videos as well. But I think now I want to move this desk to the room so that way that room can be like office editing, etc. As I've been saying it in this channel for quite some time now, now that my parents are gone, I can take that room and make it the creative spot. But yeah, it's a lot of exciting things. Obviously, it's been a busy, busy entire month, but I'm happy that I now have weekends available so that way I can film more YouTube videos, so that way I can do more things around the apartment and kind of relax. Still be productive and still, you know, enjoy my time and maximize my time, but relax instead of being, you know, back and forth, job, 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 work, work. I work in other ways too. One thing I realized with posting my previous video, it was how much time it took me to color grade that entire video. I did, I had purchased a LUT before that had several different LUTs so I can see, you know, different styles of how I want my videos to look. But I decided, you know what, for this video that you're watching, the entire video is going to be intelligent auto in the camera. So as I'm filming, the camera is adjusting to the environment that I, that I am in. I think that'll be easier or it'll f be more effective for me when editing the video. So that way I still will take time to edit the video and the clip just to make sure that the story, just to make sure that the video itself is up to speed and up to production value that I wanted to provide for you guys. Instead of having me shooting in manual, having to worry about indoors, outdoors, color grading each individual clips of a 30 minute video, that's too many hours. And I gotta make sure that I maximize my time. So I decided, you know what, let's try something new. Let's try a new approach. So this entire video is gonna be shooting auto. So we'll see. And let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy my previous videos, which have more of like a LUT over it, and it's more color graded than these types of videos. I'm still gonna be color grading these, but not to the extent of the previous videos where I would be like each individual clip manipulating and making sure everything looked nice. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've learned with shooting for YouTube and doing YouTube videos is that you gotta make sure that you maximize your time because right now i'm doing everything by myself editing filming posting promoting it on socials color grading that i gotta make sure that i start building the consistency and not get too overwhelmed because ah, i need to color grade every single clip you know you don't have to color grade eventually you'll grow into that when you have more time to do so but i think for me now having more time I can start using auto and then evolve eventually to manual shooting where I can color grade more. But just some food for thought for myself. As I talk out loud to you guys, I can kind of talk to myself too and be like, all right, bro, stop editing every single clip. Stop color grading every single clip when you already have a lot over it. So what's the point of having a lot if you're going to edit each individual clip again on top of that lot? So we're growing, we're learning, but... Yeah, I'm, right now I'm editing it, the video, so that way, as I'm filming the days, depending on how many days I put into a video, I can edit as I go instead of waiting, like filming everything and then waiting until the end. Just, I'm just trying a different approach. approach. I know that we get used to a, a rhythm, we get used to kind of like our own workflow. If you don't constantly challenge yourself, if you, if you don't constantly look for ways to get better, look for ways to be more effective, then you're gonna feel like you're in a rut. So that's how I felt in the past. And I decided, you know what, let me just change my approach, redirect my focus and do it. So that's what we're doing right now. We have some YouTube in the background. I got my guy Loki Logi in the background. I'm always watching YouTube, always watching guys, supporting them, watching their content, getting inspired by their content, and um, just continue to film. So that's what what I'm gonna be do, be do uh, what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple hours, or at least next hour, because I only have a portion of the video done. 
of the video that you're watching right now I've done. Yeah, I got the Iowa State game at 2.30, which is coming up soon. So we'll watch my guys, Iowa State. Let's see how they do the season. But yeah, so I'll, I'll tap in with you in a little bit. A couple hours have passed. Iowa State game playing on the TV. As you guys can see, hey, three to 21 about to be a victory so just wrapped up that game and did a little bit of editing we ate lunch slash dinner and now i'm gonna be working on getting this bed as i mentioned earlier i need to get the bed out because i'm gonna be selling it the bed frame i don't know where i'm gonna sell it at facebook marketplace or something but i'm thinking of selling the bed frame and also selling the nightstand, they're both the same brand. I bought them both from Ikea, but I just want them out of here. I, 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 the reason I kept them, the reason that we kept it here, the bed and the nightstand, is because my parents were coming to visit, so we wanted a room that they could feel like they're in a hotel. They had a TV here with a TV stand, and they had Roku. They had television too, so they had Netflix, all those streaming platforms so that they could watch something while they were here. Now that they left, I wanna make this room like the creative space. Our job right now is to get the mattress out, maybe break down or take pictures of the frame so I can have those pictures. And then once I have those pictures, I'll break the bed frame down and put it away. And I gotta take the desk that it's in the corner of the living room i gotta bring it in here because i think it'll be cool if i put it because if you've been watching my channel you know the standing desk was here in this corner right now you can't see you know you can't see the vision and put it right here so you guys can see so the desk was right here next to the window but we changed that we moved it to the living room now when i move it back i want it to be kind of not in the middle of the bedroom but with like facing this way because there's a tv here so i could be watching youtube video while editing a youtube video hmm but yeah so that's what we're gonna do I, i've done a lot of talking on this video hope you guys are not bored hope you guys are enjoying it i'll, I'll promise i promise i promise i'm gonna shut my mouth Shh. i'm gonna put some music and we're gonna get all this done so that we can relax a little bit later Set it off like a gunplay, oh my, yeah Talk of the city with the body Always getting praised like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do about it? Loving your vibe, girl That energy got me going Yeah, that thing's so vibrant
On the, on the cusp, not too old to adjust, old dog, new tricks, remember I was just a pup, something dirty in my cup, in my cup. clean soul, good karma is a must, still my shooter in the cut, I was stuck inside a rut, in a rut. played the game, made bank, move G, anything to get a buck, you won't find me in the club, in the club. I'm in the lab trying to sharpen up the sword, swinging blades at these scrubs, flock like bugs to the light, getting right, treat my hoes like these raps, I don't really got a type, off top, bullshit, all I needed was a mic, yeah, yeah. Hey, pass the rock, it's all butter Pack your bags and take flight Don't worry, it's all covered hey, Live your life while you can Our days are all number. Rain could cause thunder But the sun comes after Clearing up the disaster Isn't it lovely? I ain't looking back I'm focused on what's in front of me Everybody days a number But I'm still here luckily I know that God got me So I'm in good company uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some places I should take you to see You know it's easy when you ride with a G Light speed, moving fast through the city Trying to find me some peace I finally lived to be the guy that I was dying to be Still I got some trust issues People lie through their teeth The more I grew, the more they hide in the crease Squad building, weak members get released If we trying to compete Starting pitches need relief Bro, we building a team Everybody got a niche I've been known to play mine to a T But it's time for me to leave Picking dirt right out the cleats Steep path, roadblocks in the streets Try and knock me off my feet Cause the devil never sleeps So I don't sleep too And trying to breach safes That I didn't have the keys to We all been victims of trauma We ain't agreed to But the sun comes after Starting up a new chapter Isn't it lovely? I ain't looking back I'm focused on what's in front of me Everybody dates a number But I'm still here luckily I know that God got me So I'm in good company uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 